All right, guys, so welcome to another video here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now, tonight, we've come to a little night market called the Indy Night Market. We've just seen it on the map, we've headed here. I don't really know anything about it. All I know is, there wasn't really any foreign reviews on Google, so we came and we thought we'll check it out. And so far, it looks really good. Everyone's blasting tunes. We're here. We're here really early in the evening. It's like six o'clock, so it's not busy at all right now, but I think it gets super busy later on. So we'll see as the night goes on. Now, I think they sell everything here. We'll just check it out and just give you the raw first impression as well as me. Plan is like maybe some clothes. I need some t-shirts really badly. Shoes, I don't know. But definitely lots and lots of tasty. Thai street food as always so let's just go for it and see what we've got there's lots of street barbers here and I actually desperately need a haircut so that might be on the cards but yeah let's just freestyle we'll pick up when we find something of interest it's massive I don't know how big it is but it, <laughs> it does look pretty huge you've been walking down here for a few minutes already yeah let's just go let's go and see Please is trying a t-shirt on. Looks all right, like give us a spin. Nice, so it seems you can buy pretty much anything here. So here we've got like used clothes. These are pretty much like second hand, maybe from America, who knows where. But yeah, we, you can get clothes like this. And then there's also loads of little shops selling so like your um, original, I say original designer, like Kenzo, Calvin Klein, Lacoste, Versace. All the usual suspects. And then there's also lots of companies selling like, you know, like made in Thailand clothes, like t-shirts, some like unique brands that are actually pretty nice. So yeah, hopefully grab a t-shirt. Now I just realized I didn't say to get here. We came on the non-AC local bus and we drove like halfway across the whole city of Bangkok and it only cost eight Thai baht, which is an absolute deal. But let me tell you, it was the hottest thing I've ever been. It was like just jumping into a sauna. There was one fan on the whole bus and it was on the driver, so yeah, it was like a bloody sauna. Look at this one, an absolute classic. So Leash picked up that t-shirt and it was only at the 100 baht, which is a super price really, it's like £2.50. Ah, here we go, the electric fans for 100 baht. Sorry, Cap. Now, I actually saw travel with Chris on the old YouTube using one of those and I was watching the video saying what the bloody hell is he doing with that in Bangkok but now we're here ourselves I can definitely see why he's using that because it's like the hottest place on planet earth 100 baht £2.50 for a I don't know if it was bash powered keep yourself cool everywhere you go I don't know nothing's doing it for me yet I'd like some pants but they're all a bit thick too thick for this weather so you can Need something thin. You can even get yourself a nice pair of designer ball stranglers if you fancy. Look at them. How about that? Most shops are like knockoffs. Burberry top. <laughs> Those Gucci pants. will not catch me wearing them. Elephant pants shop. Shop, we're in Thailand. Sorry, Cab. So, how do you make up? <laughs> Designer bags. Hey, they're all right. I could do with you. Well, look at the state of this shitter. So here at the end of the market, there is Mugata, which is like Thai barbecue. You can see where everyone cooks their own meat, fish, seafood, and it looks really busy so far. And then we'll pretty much just take a walk down the food section and show you some of the stuff they have. So here we have some Isan sausage. Sorry, cab. That was really good. Pizza. Not the biggest fan of that, I don't know what that's about. Sorry, card. Shrimps and salmon. There's so much stuff. What's this? Some sort of liver, mukrob. Sorry, card. Some of this stuff looks so good. There's, again, there's just so much choice. You're absolutely spoiled for choice, and it's all like super affordable prices. Sushi. Sorry, card. But all these types of sushis. How much are they? Uh, Tell what I eat that. Sit back. Sit back. So one. 
Okay, it's fucking cat. Grab the box of sushi for 40 baht. Now we'll get a load of stuff and then we'll we'll go somewhere and try it all and just talk about it then because it's it's busy. Now there's some sort of chicken foot soup there with blood cakes. What's this? Is that like chicken in some sort of sauce? Sorry cab. There's loads of bars here as well and there's live bands playing so you can tell this is like a proper like Thai youth hangout spot. It's Saturday night isn't it so it is going to liven up in here. But it's getting busy already, it's only like 7 o'clock I think. Now I thought it was just going to be a lot of like shit food, like things on a stick. Because I really can't stand that shit but there's actually a lot of fresh stuff, like what? I have no idea what's, what half of the stuff is. What's this over here? You can see it's busy. Salted fish, grilled salted fish. What the hell, it's all going on. Some sort of cockles. Sorry, cab. So, uh, gung ten? Gung ten? Yeah. Uh, Taurai cab. Hoxi. Hoxi, hoxi. Uh, cab. Pet, pet, pet. So, we're getting something I wanted to try for so long. Can you see all these shrimpies in here? These live shrimpies? It's a salad. A live shrimp dancing salad. Now, we'll see how she makes it. Dai mai? Dai mai? Delicious, look at all that chilli. What is it? Fish sauce? <laughs> I'm well excited, she's fishing them out. Oh, there they go. Look at them trying to escape. She puts the lid on straight away. <laughs> Needs a pair. Oh, she's giving them a shake up. We're taking the last breaths. <laughs> oh no. I'm very excited to try this. <laughs> but it's going to be so tasty. Yeah. It smells really we'll have, delicious. Oh, it's okay. I have now. <laughs> I have now. <laughs> oh, you can feel them. You can feel them jumping. <laughs> Should I try it here? Yeah. In front of the um. The line. Yeah. So this. Here you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now this dish is called gung ten, which is dancing shrimp. Now get them in here. Look at these. As soon as I open this lid, they are going to jump for the little lives. Yeah, so it's a a live shrimp salad. Can you hear them? Let's go for it. Yeah, as soon as I eyes. open this lid, <laughs> are they going to jump and get chilly in my eye? Are you ready for this? Oh, oh. <laughs> you're losing some, you're losing some. <laughs> oh. Please, please, please. <laughs> They'll fly on everyone around you. Fly down. <laughs> are they good? Oh, they're on my arm. <laughs> Straight in. Sorry, little guy. Hello. Wow. <laughs> That's actually so tasty. Really spicy. Tastes like so spicy. Is it mint in there? Is it coriander? And then I think there's mint. You can taste the toasted rice. Like the onions, like the shallot, lime juice, fish sauce. They've calmed down and then a bit. All now. the chili powder. Yeah, because they're probably slowly dying, basking right, in this. Open it. Oh, look, they're flying oh, around them. Oh, it was it. Four. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's trying to make his it's way like back to the tank. <laughs> sure, that one. <laughs> this big one. <laughs> Actually, really tasty though. Because look oh. at my hand. Oh, this is ridiculous. Look. It's like ripping onto those with hers for dear life. That's so good. I might let them die a bit before I eat them because yeah, they're all just going to jump out. I love that um, portion on the board. Oh, I'll be careful with the when you tell us. <laughs> That's so funny. This is why I love Thailand. How can you not love it? Lisha's going to eat this poor young chap. Look at oh. him. 
He's I'm not so a happy sorry. chappy. Oh, he's got whiskers. There he goes. Goodbye, young friend. Mm. The texture's really good. It's not like that squid we had the other day that was like cartilage in the middle. It's really nice. Fresh. Delicious, that. That's so tasty. It's not just a, a gimmick food, that. It's actually delicious. Now, some people say you might catch parasites from eating raw prawns. I'll take my chances. I'll have a shot of strong alcohol and I'll be fine. <laughs> you took a dive straight out of my mouth. Like a bloody footballer. Looks like we've got some sort of tie. So, any card? Tie dumplings. Insects. It's like we're back in Mexico. They look surprisingly really good. They're like crickets and silkworms of some description. Some snails. Oh, it's a jellyfish. Is that jellyfish? Oh, wow. Let's check this out. So, Eddie Carb. What do you eat it with? Jellyfish. Jellyfish. And you eat with um, sauce. Seafood. Seafood yeah. sauce. Oh, okay, okay. You know. Yeah, they come out, come back and try it. We come back, come uh, cab. Is it alloy? Alloy. Alloy. Yeah, no. Okay, we come and try. <laughs> nice one. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, they come out, come back and try that. I've never tried jellyfish before. I know they eat it in like Vietnam, probably Thailand as well, but I'm sure I heard it doesn't have much flavour though. It's more in the, the season you put on it or like the, the broth it's in or whatever. God, it's getting busy. Oh, that looks so good. Just, you've got, oh, what's this? Fried chicken. Delicious fried chicken. I like the fried chicken scraps. Sorry, Cub. <laughs> this is the sort of stuff I'm talking about, like, I don't really want to eat a pink or orange sausage. Sorry, Cub. Sorry, Cub. Sorry, Cub. Do people say that or am I just saying, saying silly things? Oh, wow, full squids for grilling. Little baby octopus for 20 baht for a skewer leash. Wow. Couple markup. Couple markup. So we just got some octopus grilled on this fire here. And it's just super fresh. Like you just pick the one you want and they just grill it for you there. And look at this squid. Couple carb. <laughs> it's so nice. They, just, they actually gave us a free one, which is so kind. So it's, nice. What's maybe 20 baht for one? Should I try it here, leash? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> We've got too much stuff. In front of someone's stall. He said spicy, spicy. He kept, he kept saying, Can you handle? Can you handle? I said, No spicy, no spicy. Here we go. But it's hot. Chewy. I was biting the stick. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? I never had an octopus that small. The sauce is nice and spicy, just how I like it. What's the texture like? The texture's a bit soft, a little bit rubbery. The flavour is all in the sauce though, not so much in the actual octopus. No. Nice little snack though to walk with, dip and taste. Let's go. Not too bad. Not really a strong taste at all, to be honest. Just a light seafood taste. This place is now absolutely heaving. Pretty much every table's taken. Sorry, Cab. I need a like a guy, 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 guy chicken. Ah, fried. Looks very good, I know. <laughs> lights have gone off. We've had a power cut. Have we actually had a power cut? All the lights have just gone off on this whole strip. What have you got? I'm actually dying for these city around here. So it's blended coconut milk, coconut flesh. I think she puts more in as well. Look at how refreshing that looks. It's so hot. Too refreshing. 35 baht. It is hot, honestly. It's like, even outside, it's like a sauna. Yeah, it's really hot. Oh, that's, that is well good. That's what you need on a day like this. 
Oh, what's this? This raw meat lab. Yeah, it's overwhelming now. You just smacked in the face with a million options. Body carb. Um, I don't know the name for it. Ow noon cap. Um, pass it, pass it back. Oh, can we have four? four? So I've just grabbed some fried squid cakes. They're really good. Oh, we get some sauce as well. Put some carb. Oh, we got big fresh crabs as well. And blood cockles. Sorry, carb. <laughs> this is an ace market. We may as well try them. So Leash has got some gaitoured, which is fried chicken. Classic little chicken wing. It was six bat for one chicken wing, which is so cheap. But how fresh are these? Literally it's just, just, just whacking them out. Well hot. First time trying Thai fried chicken. Delicious. It's just what the doctor yeah, it's ordered. It's so crunchy on the outside. There's a reason there was a queue there. People were buying bags of the wings. Well good. Oh, what is there? So we found the insect store with various different things. Which is the best for you? Can you do like a mix? Mix? What's the word for mix, please? Forte, okay. We found a little seating area in the indie market. Look at this place. Let's try some of these things we've got. So. We've got the squid cakes. I'll pour this sweet chilli sauce all over those. Looking good! Let's try those first. Now these look really good. Mm. Oh wow. Can just taste lemongrass. To feel lime. Super fragrant those. Delicious. They're really good. Put a bit more sweet chili sauce on them because. Oh! Really good. Actually, really pairs well with it. Mm. Really good, aren't they? Soft. Mm. Lemongrass. So Holy grail of herbs. Now, next we have got a little tub of grasshoppers. Now, we're no stranger to the old grasshoppers or the bugs. We've eaten them quite a lot in Latin America. I don't know how they taste in Thailand. She poured some stuff on it. I don't know if it was MSG, white pepper. It could be anything. Let's have a few of these bad boys. Oh. Super salty. Really good though. Was it salty? Salty, but it's also something else. Is it MSG? It's white pepper. I think it's some sort of pepper. They're really good. I mean, really good. Really good, honestly. It's a really nice crisp to them. But they're so light. They're just like her, aren't they? Yeah. Like, it's just that oil, really. Yeah, like oil and the flavouring you put on them. They don't have much of a taste anyway, like a crisp. Here's just answer to a crisp, but like, wherever you are in the world. Leash picked up a few sushi. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how long this has sat there, but who gives a but shit? Look at this. Have you seen so, this one? What is it? It's a little baby octopus. In like a red sauce, though, like a sticky red sauce. Go on, get it in, yeah. I think they're one biters. <laughs> you can't bite them. That was a you mess. Don't want to try it. That's really nice. That's oh. nice. No, this is nicer than the one that you bought. I think if a Japanese person wants you to su bite sushi in half, you get Sorry, arrested. Everyone, but you know what? I didn't know if you wanted to try half of it. No. That was all of it. Yeah. 
Oh. With a fiery wasabi there. Wasabi. Let's have it. Now this little sushi here is salmon roll, salmon eggs, and it looks like a little crab stick in the middle. Oh, there's a little bit of wasabi on the end there. I'm not a big fan of wasabi. Not bad, but just like, it does burn your nostrils off, doesn't it? Like fire. Yeah. That's really nice. Surprisingly, it's just really light. Pretty good sushi. Oh, we've still got a few crits. The brown bread in there, oh. they're all pretty much dead. Sorry, my friends. Try and get on to jump oh, out. Oh, it's clicking on alive. <laughs> Like this is genuinely a super tasty dish. Really not, tasty. not a gimmick whatsoever. Do you, do you think it tastes the taste of something? A little shrimp, or do you think it's so just the texture? Yeah, just I the think texture it's for me. Oh, really good though. It's so crunchy. We have to try this. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here they have lollies where they pour the like fizzy drinks into like this and it freezes them. And yeah, you can just make they just make lollies with all the like classic type drinks. Coke and carb. So I've got a blue Fanta. And they're only five baht. So full. Oh sensitive on my teeth. Really good though. It's just like a busy drink in a lolly. Exactly what you'd expect. <laughs> we found the animals at the exit. Look how cute these little guys are. They've also got some crazy things up here with the massive eyes. Look at these guys. I don't know what they are. They're doing like backflips. Anyway, Leisha just spotted the Holy Grail. So you can buy a hamster over there and then you can buy a 7 Eleven out. 7 Eleven. And the lead. The pizza company. Where's the gab? The gab, not grab. Nice. That is incredible. So I've actually just managed to get a haircut for 180 baht. Looks really good actually. They were super nice, really welcoming people here in Thailand, everywhere we've been so far. And yeah, that's it from the indie market. What a super local little Thai market. Super night market. There's, there's only seen two Falang, two other Falang, other foreigners here the whole time. So it's like a proper local Thai market with really good prices, really friendly people, super tasty food, crazy food, so you can get some really good stuff. Yeah, so I highly recommend you visit here. Thank you for watching and then until next time, ciao.